Hey guys, DJ here with another tutorial on Feed the Beast, and this time we're looking at part four, I believe, it's, it's a random, random number I usually call it every time, of the B101 series, and this time we're looking at trying to work our way through the Noble um, breeding range. So, the Noble and the Imperial and hmm, the Majestic. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with uh, some of the bees we would have produced in our, in our last tutorial. So we're starting with the Common Princess. I actually might go with the cultivated princess. So we go, we've got cultivated of some, um, one of them's cultivated and one of them's common. So we'll move through here, uh, put another cultivated and another common one in. And common, cultivated. Now for some reason these don't seem to like to, like to breed always the first time. So it might take me a couple times, times, which is why I'm filling up every one of these this time around. I'll put, put that as a common, cultivated. Here we go. So this this is an interesting little um, just, um, breed we're going to be trying to get out. The nobles produce dripping honey, dripping combs, which uh, are pretty much the same. There we go. We didn't get it there. I'll just go again. Which are pretty much exactly the same. Well, there we go. We've got a noble already. Well, that was interesting. So there's our noble, and we'll put that there somewhere. Um, so there's no noble in there. Now some of them do have quite low common. Get a few of these extra drones. Okay. So so to make the next one in the series, because um, ultimately we're trying to get to the imperial, because the imperial will produce for us royal jelly, and royal jelly is what we want. Um, so we're going to start with a noble princess or a cultivated princess. I don't think it really matters either way. And putting it with a cultivated drone. Now we'll swap it up with cultivated and a noble in there. And then again, so the idea is that you, I'm just uh, increasing my chances as much as I can by having five different. Oh, stringy comb. Should know actually got stringy comb, but oh well. I believe it's trying to work its way towards what the art, uh, because cultivated drones and common drones actually produce another breed of bee. Oh no, I thought I might have had an inactive there. They actually produce a second at the start of another series of bees, but we're not going to worry about that, so. Um, until we get to it. So if you do happen to get yourself a um, something along in, in the rocky region, and just leave them for now and come, we'll come back to them a little bit later on. Alright, so we don't really need them anymore. Because we're starting to work with cultivated and noble now. Okay, there we go. We've got a majestic already. I'm, I get really happy when. Oh, and a diligent. Um, I wonder why we've got a diligent there. That's a, there's another diligent there as well. That's okay though. We're not going to worry about the diligent. We're going to come back to it because. As we can see here, the Diligent isn't part of the series. Um, the Diligent is actually part of the Industrious branch, which is what I was saying the Common and Cultivated can make, which is why we had some stringy combs up there. So I have made one of those, and I'm just going to leave it on the side for now. Um, oh, and an Ancient Princess, that was an accident as well. well. I love it when I get accidents, but because of my really high mutation chances, all these rare ones, I'm getting the really rare ones as well as um, the proper ones. So. What we're going to do is we're going to need some. I'm actually going to get rid of these diligence because we're going to need them for this episode. Um, there's another ancient in there. We'll get rid of that too. So I'm going to need a few more. Now yeah, I've got to remember what they're called. Not in there. We're going to need some majestic drones because the majestic drones, along with. Oh, did I spell it right? Oh, J. Put a stack of those in and then get a couple of those. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the Majestic um, with the Noble. Don't need to cultivate anymore. And in the aim of getting our, um, our next 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 breed. So we haven't actually got any more Noble drones. Okay, so I think we've got everything running. Now, the interesting thing about these uh, Majestics is that they have the highest um, breeding rate, I believe it is. 
So I'm, I can actually just put that in there like that to show you what goes on. We've got some Majestic and then we've also got Noble. Now we'll just double check. Majestic and Noble, yep, that's exactly right. So we'll have to get more Nobles. So as you can see, oh, I will have to make it daytime again because the bees don't like night. Uh, it shouldn't take me too long to start to see. Look, oh, there's see as you can see, there is a massive amount of majestics I just got then, and that is because the majestic drones are, as I said, the most um, giving when it comes to babies. So a majestic princess in there again, a noble one as well. I'll put that over there on the side, and a majestic and a noble. So. If you did want to make your bees a lot, um, some of your bees are more, more um, uh, productive. I don't, it's not actually productive, it's called something else. Um, oh, there you go. I just actually I've just got five of those, which is that's the one I put the two in together. So if you wanted to, let's just put this up. Majestic. Uh, fertility, there we go. We've got four times in fertility, which is the highest you can get. Or um, well, this is not too important. Um, yep, so four times. Okay, we should be getting close to getting our illustrious uh, Imperial Bee, which is going to produce some honeycomb for us, hopefully. We've got some Majestic Bee there. A little bit excited now, I thought that might have been it, but it's not. So we'll just keep going a little bit further. Oh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. This is our Imperial Bee. So. And we haven't got in again here. That's alright. So the Imperial Bee is the last in the season, and it last in the season, last in the this this particular bee. So I'm going to put that one and that one together for now. Um, this one produces honeycombs, um, the dripping honeycomb dripping combs, which I've just used for making more honey. But they also produce royal jelly. Now royal jelly is used for a massive amount of things. Um, and we can talk about that in another later episode when we get to get through all the bees. But this is the cult of bee from our last episode. So it's already produced three honey combs, and it's only about halfway through its lifespan. So it's probably going to produce up to six more honey, oh, three more honey combs, um, which is going to be excellent if you want to produce lots of honey. So you'd want to be using those cultivator bees. But I will finish it here, and I'll see you with the next set of bees. DJ out.